African billionaires. Mike Adenuga in focus. Welcome, future millionaires to another episode on this channel. We hope that you all are doing okay and feeling pumped to succeed. This is another video in the African Billionaire series where we analyze an African billionaire using the following metrics. Background, education, early career, and present career. At the end of the day, the higher the score, the more likely it was for the billionaire to get to where he is. The lower the score, the more applause he deserves from us because the odds were stacked against him. A 10 out of 10 means that you were expected to succeed. A 0 out of 10 means that you performed a miracle to have succeeded. If you would love such content, then keep watching. The original video on the top 10 African billionaires will be linked in the description box below in case you want to check that out. If you are new here, you are welcome to Millionaire by 25 YouTube channel. The best place on the internet to get inspiration and information about wealth, business, and making money online. Our goal on this channel is to take you steps closer to your goals of financial freedom. Consider subscribing so that you can be informed when we put out new amazing videos like this one. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 1. Background. Here, we look at the background of the individual and see how much of his or her success can be attributed to it. A lot of studies have shown that background can greatly affect potentials for success. For instance, being born in a third world country without formal education has greatly made the journey to the top for the individual very difficult if not impossible. But many other studies have also shown that background doesn't matter much. Of course, there are a lot of self-made millionaires that have humble beginnings. Do you think background plays a major role? Let us know in the comment section below. Mike Adenuga was born on the 29th of April 1953 to Aloy Michael Agbolade Adenuga Sr. and Omoba Juliana Oyendamola Adenuga. His father was a school teacher while his mother was a businesswoman of royal Ijibu descent. With that said, I think it is safe to say that his family was doing okay and he was within the middle to upper class of society. That means he could afford formal education. Which is the case, as we will come to see in the next metric. And since his mother was into business at the time, I suppose this was the origin of his interests in business. Based on all these, I see it fit to give him a 7 out of 10, because, he had pretty good odds in his favor. Number 2. Education. For me, education is everything. It doesn't matter if it is formal education or not, the more you learn, the more you earn. During Mike's time, online education wasn't yet a thing, so, formal education was everything. Mike Adenuga received his secondary school education at Ibadan Grammar School, Ibadan, and Comprehensive High School, Ayatoro, for his higher school certificate, HSC. Then he went on to complete a bachelor's and master's degree in business administration from Northwestern Oklahoma State University and Pace University, New York respectively. Based on that information, I think he got a pretty solid education in really good universities. Some credit has to go to him anyway. Because he worked as a taxi driver to help fund his university education. Not many people would do that. So, for that, I think he did great. Another thing worth noticing is the course he studied. A recent study of most millionaires in the world today was conducted, and it was observed that business administration was among the top 10 most degrees held by the most successful people in the world. Since he schooled at a very good university, I have to also give him 7. I am not ruling out the fact that one needs to study hard and remain focused to succeed, but remember, what we are trying to analyze here is how likely a person is to succeed based on the metrics we chose. 7 out of 10 is what I give him. But, hey, I don't have the final say, so let us know yours in the comment section below. Number 3. Early and Present Career. Mike Adenuga began his business career expanding his mother's sawmill business, sales of detachable car stereos, importation of lace material, and a few other small business ventures. Then he ventured into the oil industry when the federal government of Nigeria began encouraging private sector participation in the oil sector. In 1990, he received a drilling license and in 1991, his consolidated oil struck oil in the shallow waters of southwestern Ondo State, Nigeria the first indigenous oil company to do so in commercial quantity. It makes perfect sense to go for crude oil, because, as at that time, renewable energy wasn't a thing yet. By the way, feel free to check out our video on how to make money from the renewable energy industry, the link will be in the description box below. If you are enjoying this video, I encourage you to smash that like button, because, it tells the YouTube algorithm that you are enjoying our videos. Crude oil in the 90s was liquid gold. It isn't worth so much now because everyone is looking to reduce their carbon footprint by finding alternative sources of energy. 
He began a telecom company called Globacom that at some time even challenged MTN. He received a first conditional license in 1999 and eventually got another license in 2003. Presently, his company has spread to other West African countries aside from Nigeria. He eventually started a commercial bank called Equatorial Trust Bank which eventually merged with Sterling Bank. He is also into real estate, food manufacturing and processing, butter, cocoa cake, and vegetable oil, domestic and international market activities, and aviation. I think it is safe to say that Mike Adenuga has consistently continued to expand his empire and that is really commendable. I think he is really smart to get into oil and telecom which are very highly profitable. But I also think his secret is that he is very skilled at managing any business he puts his hands into. Maybe due to his degree in business administration. For the consistent expansion of his empire, I give him an 8 out of 10. With that being said, averaging out, gives us a 7.3. Remember that all the people analyzed in this series are brilliant, motivated, focused, and all that good stuff, so I decided to downplay all that in this series. What do you think about Mike Adenuga? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video. As always, stay energized.